to one molecule of carb we have four molecules of water so basically more insulin we have in our blood more sugar and carbs we eat more water is held in our body so when it comes to losing weight uh, people with huge weight they lose more water in the first weeks rather than fat so we have to also understand it and then more slim you become uh, less fast you lose weight um, so I'm speaking about um, uh, tips that work today uh, for anyone for big overweight and just small uh, people who want to lose small amount of fat but they do work and they are healthy so they're not going to harm your body and your health so the first is actually sell the idea to your mind to your brain why do you need to lose fat um, because a lot of times it's just uh, a trend to be slim and fit. A lot of times it's just you want to look nice in front of other people. But the brain actually cares about real happiness. So your idea to lose weight might not compete with the idea to actually enjoy life. So if you have a lot of rituals to enjoy tasty food, go into the restaurants at night, um, uh, create reunions with your friend, eating pizza, if a lot of things are connected to very high calorie food um, and you do really enjoy it, you might not be able to sell this idea to your mind and you might really suffer losing weight, create even more stress and then coming back even to more weight in the end. So um, in my case, for example, I don't want to lose weight or be fit for, for you know, being attractive or being slim because I'm already genetically slim and I never had problems in attracting other people as, uh, people's attention. But with seven years of learning medicine and biochemistry and learning how actually our body operates the best, which is super interesting for me, I realized if I don't move, if I don't sweat every single day, I uh, get closer to death and getting old. So basically my brain knows that, okay, she's not moving, she's not sweating, she's not having sex, she's not attractive for reproductive uh, processes. Um, this is all subconscious, right? So this is not, um, is it, this is unconscious. So I'm not going to um, make her survive longer. And for me, it's crucial. I want to live beautiful, long life. And I have so many ideas and projects and excitement for life so every time I wake up I know how the lymph system works and why do I need to sweat and I'm doing it with super high motivation because I sold this idea to my mind versus seven years ago when I just wanted to be fit to be nice and sexy teenager I was starting going to a gym a new diet um, and I was just unhappy and in the end of the day I was breaking down I was just like finishing everything and no matter what happens, you know. So it is very personal. Find for yourself that reason and see if it works. See if you can really sell this idea. How are you going to understand if it worked? You're going to feel happy by doing it. So when you actually complete a workout, when you uh, skip another sugar or chocolate that, that uh, other people proposed you to try, you will feel like yes. I'm doing it, I'm so happy. You're not going to feel um, stressful and, and super down, right? So that's the sign. So the second aspect is to actually recognize the problem. Why do you have over overweight? Do you eat for getting attention? Do you eat for getting pleasure? What do you get with food? And what do you get with procrastination, with not working out, with not taking care of your body? There is some resource behind it and it, it's all also mental work behind it. I could just tell you guys to follow these, these, do this workout, follow this diet, but I know it's not going to work. I'm working with people and a lot of them are super overweight or already with health issues like diabetes, high blood pressure. And I know that without the mental work, without this understanding, you're not going to lose weight no matter how much you try because the body is way smarter than you think has a lot of protected mechanisms and actually the program of survival um, so the point is to find out why do you have overweight for example 
a lot of people they socialize with food uh, that's very common um, you invite friends or relatives to your house or you go with the partner to a dinner and you eat tasty amazing food that gives you a lot of insulin dopamine hormones of happiness and you share that experience and then you link processes of so socialization with food. Then when you understand that this food is unhealthy, it makes you fat, you c try to cut the food, but you also cut these experiences together subconsciously as well. That's one of the reasons. There can be thousands of reasons. Some people feel very lonely and they don't have emotions from real life. They just have home family office, home family office, nothing happens, problems with money, problems with relationships, life is boring and the only pleasure they can get is the, the food, the sweets, the alcohol, a lot of coffee and so on. So find the reason and actually attack the reason <laughs> attack i don't like this word um work on the reason because um because otherwise there is no way right when we start to really change our habits when we start working out um, waking up at the right time going to bed at the right time it also related to weight loss that you already saw in different videos i'm not going to speak about it um the brain wants to have a reward uh, why do i do it all where is my pleasure the brain is constantly looking for satisfaction and the price because of its hard work right so if you put yourself in this working like a horse perspective without getting your brain a reward or a gift your brain is going to say i'm done like for real stop it so in my case, uh, when I was changing my uh, habits and also I see in work with my client, what really works is to actually ask yourself sincerely, what makes you happy? Something that doesn't make you gain weight. <laughs> so what it is, for me, I like to go to spa. I like to go to sauna, get massage, get certain um, cosmetic spa procedures on my face, um, get attention get care i like flowers when my man brings me flowers or i can buy myself flowers i can go hike in the nature uh, i can make myself day off for example okay today i don't do anything i don't work with my clients i don't do any posts nothing and i just do nothing so a lot of pleasure <laughs> um, some people do it with shopping would be careful because it can be addictive so you can spend all your money <laughs> for that um, so find that pleasure that does not make you overweight and that's going to help you to pass through these challenges that are on the way of losing weight and the, the fifth point for this video is important is clean up from toxic environment I don't know why people don't do it still I understand that they're afraid to lose their friends to lose connection with their family but guys if someone is on the way for you, is on your way uh, to break you down to put you down when you want to actually lose weight or or grow as a person it's also growing as a personality I don't understand why you guys keep connecting with these people for real if somebody puts you down and tells you hey you don't need that you're going to be fine you're already perfect and you clearly understand that this person doesn't give you support don't interact with this person at least for that period of time when you lose weight that's really important you need um, support and you need good treatment from other people in this hard period I understand that you're all guys are super strong and um, powerful and you can handle that but uh, we're social people and that's super important Okay, I'm getting cold. Uh, that was it, guys. <laughs> I hope it was useful. In Patagonia, it's super cold constantly. So, finishing. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and get healthy. Love you all so much, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>